All right, so let's conclude this series of uh, tutorials. What we have here is the um, final of our assignment. Uh, earlier uh, video showed uh, certain elements without uh, the whole context showing. So here's our low poly model, okay? And this is with ambient occlusion, I believe, material rendered. So here we are. And I'm just going to go a little faster, possibly. Uh, for example, I have a bottle, and you guys know it should be it should be over here, and up here it have a number as well. Okay, pardon me. <coughs> here we go. All right, so let's give it a material. For example, earlier we did bottles, so I'm just gonna select the. Pardon me. It's latest. Okay, so here it is. And <laughs> take a table. Uh, let's or just select the walls. For example, I'm going. Oops. Right here, one, hold shift, two, right here. I have so many versions of this due to my demonstrations. <laughs> here we go. So we want to show it an isometric, something like this, okay? And I'm just going to right-click, assign new material. This is after you've done the ambient occlusion pass. You're going to go to share. You can say thank you for that, but no thanks. Standard surface. Okay, and I'm going to call this walls. And first thing I'm going to do right off the bat is get rid of the weight here, and I want to get rid of that reflection there. So I'm just going to zero. Okay, so I'm just trying to get pastelish colors here. No reflections whatsoever. You're welcome to keep it for the model, but again, this is more of a cartoon, uh, cartoony look. Okay, so I'll just come in here and uh, give it some kind of a color right off the bat here. Ooh. Okay, so there's my... Uh, walls okay there it is walls done I could see it in here because it's an AI standard surface outstanding okay so we've done that one uh, draw us here and uh, what I'll do right now is um, let's we'll do because you guys have everything selected it'd be easy for you to come in here control a find your hardwood floor and then let's hope uh, let's see floor right click uh, select objects that's that floor, and then let me find the hardwood floor stand book spell. Heart, candles, walls, high chair, spell book. What is important? Here we go. Hardwood floor. Let's hope this is done right. Let me just go select object. Nope. Yeah, because I've done so many versions. Okay, so let's work on uh, columns here for a minute. Pardon me, guys. Okay, you've seen me do this in class a number of times. Um, I'll take this right now, and I'm going to make it into um, a touch darker than the wall. That's what happens when you get up at 5.30. Assign new material, and the good thing is shader, the AI standard surface, and then and the really I'm, I'm going to slide over here. If you have a bunch of these things, the memory um, of the, the steps and so on, what you want to do is just quickly delete my type history here and center uh, the pivot point. So here it is, and I'm just call this uh, columns. Okay. Again, let's get rid of the weight to zero, and I'm going to have the color up here. See, there it is. Instead of giving it the same color, I'll just make it a touch darker for contrast. Okay, just just a touch like that. All right. And then maybe I'll do the same thing. Control A. Um, you guys get what I'm doing. I'm not going to do the whole thing because um, I've demoed it numerous, numerous times. Actually, what I'll do is I'll also I'm going to select these pieces here. Shift select three, four, and this time instead of assigning new material here, existing material. If I could have only uh, remembered, what did I call it? A column, right? So it's somewhere over here. Uh, here, I'll just come in here. Normally, you would say uh, assign existing material. I've done this too many times. There's way too many options right now. So I'll just come in here. I'll just give it a new material and shader, AI standard surface, and call this details, lintels, or whatever you want to call it. Get rid of the, uh, the weight to zero. Back to color. I'll come over here and I'll touch it uh, a bit darker. Okay, and just to review again, so what you want to do is take as many views as you like. Okay, Control A. Let's get some more real estate here. 
Okay, so here it is. I've got uh, this going so far. And uh, some of you, I said, go open an Arnold render view. Sometimes you're finding, um, they're not rendering, you're not seeing a render in here in the IPR. If it's not working, don't worry about it. It should be a touch different right now, right? So here it is, it's coming up. Um, so it's actually rendering, and you can see a little line down there, or not. <laughs> it shows a progress bar somewhere down here. I'm not seeing it right now, uh, which is fine. I'm just going to leave it like this. And you're saying uh, you have the black background, which to me is perfectly fine. However, if you're not comfortable uh, with the color, here's what we're going to do. We're going to add the sky, uh, skylight here, right? Uh, so what I'll do here, I'm just going to save it for a second. And this is a review from the previous tutorials. And we'll just go to Arnold, Arnold Lights, and Skydome. Pop it in here. There it is, and you'll see a huge difference right now. And another thing, if you're seeing too, it's too, uh, it's not resolved. Let's I'll explain things right here. Okay, let's see. See how nice that background is. So if you're seeing too many dots in here and so on, I may want to crank the, uh, the settings. Okay, so this will all be taken care of. I'm just going to press Escape to come out. Uh, get rid of that, and I'll just go into my settings. So you guys know Arnold Render, Render here, and I can crank this to four, just a touch. Uh, be careful because this is, uh, you know, and I'm actually going to come in here and do a proper render to Arnold Render view. Well, this is beyond start today, but I'll click there. We go. Okay, so I'm getting my rendering. It's cool. Uh, I haven't played with the exposure because I do have Skydome and I need to deal with that at all. So I can say bye bye to that side of it. I'll wait another uh, few seconds, talk you through it. And as you can see, it's a beauty pass, so it's got a nice rendering going. I can see the pixelations here or the shadows. Yeah, this will take a, a good, like I'm telling you, this last shot that you guys will be doing in class is going to be over a minute to two minutes. But with my laptop, I think I could pull it off in 30 seconds. Who knows? Okay, so you'll be giving me shots like this uh, with all the materials in. And I want to see your layers. I want to see everything that's named here. Okay, so there's just, just this part left. Uh, this is cleared out. I think that works for me. And you're just going to go to File, uh, Save Image here. Okay. So there are other projects here, and I'm going to call this Valium. My uh, low poly, poly model. Okay, so this was quick. Uh, the settings make sense. You can save it out of here, or if you see the shot that you do like and you have IPR going, that works as well. One last thing, um, just to keep things stand uh, consistent, you, you may want us. Put your safe frame on here, right? See here, resolution gauge kind of shows you the safe area. So this is the area that I want to work in. As you can see, this file doesn't have everything done, but uh, if you continue in this uh, format, you'll get everything uh, pretty much um, uh, selected, named, and rendered. So for the last time, assign new material here, shader, standard surface, thank you. Get rid of the reflection to zero. Give it a name right here under standard surface. Treasure, treasure chest. Okay, and I'll expect to throw some kind of a gold color here. Close as I can get to it now there. Let's go a little more orange. Oh, I think something like that would work, okay? Okay, folks, I think this is it. This is a short tutorial. And you can see the shots looking pretty good. Remember that when you save out of here, um, well, the fact that we've got the sky dome, we're going to be okay with our lights, okay? So you have to give it some time, and usually I have a bar running down here. I'm not seeing it, but I can hear the engine going, and I can see uh, areas that have not been yet haven't been uh, resolved yet, 
Okay, so this is what I expect from you guys uh, this week. I think that's good enough for me. Uh, bowing it out. See you later, people.